Today from r slash just no mother-in-law. In the beginning of our relationship, I asked my husband, then boyfriend, what was the plan for his mother's golden years? Was she ever going to live with him? He said yes. He's an only child, and it's tradition in Chinese culture. But he said she's very independent from him, and she recently remarried. Dear husband reasoned it didn't make sense for his mother to live with him and her new husband under one roof, and she hardly ever spoke to husband anyways. He was insistent that this wouldn't be a topic for a long time. I asked if living with his mother was something he wanted to do. He said no, only if she says she wants to, but she wouldn't want to. I told him I was open to the idea of living with her, but would decide after getting to know her better. I eventually learned enough about her to know that I would not be willing to live under the same roof as her. The most I would be okay with was close enough to make it convenient for us to help out if she was so old that she needed it. I let my boyfriend know this. He says okay. My boyfriend eventually becomes my husband. After he and I get married, mother-in-law begins hinting to me that she wants her and her spouse to move in with my husband and I. She offers to give husband money for a down payment on a home as long as she approves of the home. We decline because we don't trust its money without strings. We tell her not to worry about us, and we want her to use her money to take care of herself in her retirement. She and I have a funny text conversation, in which at some point she says she's tired of keeping up at home, and thinks it would be convenient to just live in a room in someone else's home. I play dumb and say, oh, who's home? Is there a friend you have looking to rent out a room? The conversation stops cold. I show husband this particular exchange, and I tell him, I think your mom wants to live with us. He's in disbelief. He says no, impossible. I must be misunderstanding her. I say sure, we'll see. About a week later, mother-in-law and her husband are over at our home for a holiday dinner. Mother-in-law seems to be in a mood. At some point she huffily says, I'm sorry if you don't like it, but Chinese mothers live with their sons. I don't point out that none of her sisters live with their sons. I don't point out that she hasn't lived with her son since he was a young child. He lived with other relatives. I instead say, I'm aware of the tradition, who's ready for dessert, and nudge husband to help me start clearing dinner plates. We finish the evening without anyone saying another word on the subject. When they're gone, I say to husband, so how about now? Do you think she might want to live with us now? He's in such shock and so upset. I say, so what do you think? Do you want to live with her? He's hesitant. He says, well, if she wants to then, I guess. Good Chinese sons live with their mothers. I said, okay, well, I love you very much. And if this is something you feel you have to do, then I understand you could live with her but I'll be living in my own apartment. You can come sleep over at my place when you need a break from her. Husband was incredulous. What? But I want you to come with me. I was sympathetic. I know, and I would miss you so much, but that's not an option. I would be so unhappy living with your mom. I think if you were honest with yourself, you wouldn't be happy either. I'm not willing to sacrifice my happiness just for her convenience, and if you truly love me, then you wouldn't ask me to. She's still very healthy, very capable and in a great financial position. She has a husband, and it's not even an issue of loneliness. She lives only 15 minutes away. You two can visit each other anytime you want. You could have been living with her this whole time if you wanted. You can pack up a bag and go tonight if you want, but I will not be going with you. Husband was clear he couldn't imagine life without me that his life with me was so happy and he couldn't imagine giving it up. With therapy, he eventually let go of the guilt he felt making that choice. It's been five years since then, and mother-in-law has yet to bring up the subject with us again. As for the people that guessed mother-in-law may have wanted free help, I think you may be right. This push to live together came off the cuff of a change. For a couple years, I nannied for a family that lived right in mother-in-law's neighborhood. So if there was an odd errand or task that she and her husband could use help with, it was convenient for me to stop by on my way to the home and help out. 
She became increasingly comfortable with asking me to do things, and I would do the things I was fine with doing. Then one day my job changed and it was no longer convenient for me to pick up her mail or tidy up her yard or whatever else I told her I was no longer available for those things and to ask her son. I suspect she wanted to make me available 